Welcome to another episode of Siemens NX for SolidWorks users. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a new part, a new assembly, and a new drawing. And we'll also take a look at making changes to your models. So to create a brand new part, you can use the new icon in the upper left-hand corner. I'll click on that and it opens up the new dialog box. I just have two tabs, a model tab and a drawing tab. And here we have an option where we can change the name of the model. In this case, I'll just call it something simple, like let's call it Rod. And you can choose what folder you want it to be stored in. Here we have a number of different templates that we can use. I'll just leave the default model template selected in here. I'll click the OK button. And here we are in our part. One of the first features that you usually create in a brand new part is a sketch. Here is the sketch command, and it opens up a dialog box. It also highlights the different standard planes that you have, and I'll just choose the front plane to sketch on, and then click the OK button out of the Create Sketch dialog box. Here we are in the sketching environment. I'll click on the circle icon. You'll notice that there are a few different methods that you can choose for creating the circle or entering the values. Let me just locate at the origin and I'll drag it out. You can see that we have a little dialog box where you can punch in a number that you want to use. And I'm going to hit the escape key in order to not create any other additional circles. And we can click on the X to close out of there. And now that I'm done with my sketch, I'll click on the finish button and it reorients us. With the sketch selected, you could choose to extrude it. We'll go into extrudes in another video. And for the end value, uh, let's also use a value of 400. Hit the Enter key, I'm happy with that, and I'll click the OK button. So that's how you can create a brand new part for creating an assembly. Well, it's pretty much the same way. I'll go to the File command and then choose New, and here I'll just create it and I'll just call this, I don't know, my engine assembly. And like we discussed in another video, everything in NX is a .prt file. So you might want to use a naming convention so you can tell what kind of object it is. Be aware that there is a template here for assemblies, but I can just use the regular model template. I'll click on the OK button, and once again, we're on the Home tab where I could start creating some different features. But if I want this to be an assembly, you can click on the Assemblies tab, and you can either create a new component in here, or you can add a component. I'll click on the Add Component, and it shows any files that I have in session. There is an open button in this dialog box, and I'll just grab one of the parts that are in here. Let me grab my engine block, and then click the OK button. Here you can see a preview of where it'll be placed in the model. For the component anchor, well, here we have a drop-down list. It just gives us the absolute option. And for the assembly location, well, I'll just change from WCS, the world coordinate system. You could choose absolute and place at the absolute origin of the displayed part. That's good, let's click on the OK button. And with the first component, you'll get this warning dialog box. Hey, you just added the first component to the assembly. Do you want to create a fixed constraint? I will say yes to that. And we have our component located in here. You can add more components. You can also add constraints in later on. So just like SOLIDWORKS, constraints can be added later on in order to lock the components down. But you don't have to add constraints. You can just leave components where they are if you don't want things to be associative. Anyhow, that's good for starting out my brand new assembly. I'm going to open up a, another part to show you an alternative way of starting off an assembly. Let me grab this connecting rod over here. So I've got this part open, and on the Assemblies tab, there's a command for New Parent Assembly, and that's very similar to the SOLIDWORKS command where you can go to File, Make Assembly from Part. I'll choose that, and we are in our assembly.prt file. If I go to my 
assembly navigator, you can see that we have the connecting rod located within this assembly model. Okay, let's take a look at creating a brand new drawing. I'll go to File, New, and you can also use the keyboard shortcut of Control N. Here we have the Drawing tab. We have a bunch of existing sizes. Be aware that you could change from millimeters to inches or even to all, but I'll just use my millimeters because I believe that this model is in millimeters. And the name of the drawing is going to be the name of the active work part underscore DWG1. Uh, and so you can change the name if you want. Again, since everything is a .prt, I recommend that you use a naming convention so you can tell what kind of object it is. And here we have a part to create a drawing of. If you want to use a different part, well, you can use the open button. Let's say I just want to create a drawing of the connecting rod. You'll note that the name has been automatically updated. And for the size of the drawing sheet, let's use a bigger one. Let's use an A3. And I'll click the OK button. And so here we are started out. It automatically opens up a dialog box so you can populate the title block. So for example, here's first issued, maybe for drawn by, I will type in my name. And you can enter in checked by, approved by any of these other different values for the different cells in the title block. But let's just close that dialog box. Here we have the welcome to drafting. There are a bunch of other different buttons in here. So for example, if you go to the assembly navigator, here you can see the drawing, and then we have the model here. This is something that's referred to as a non-master drawing. Beware that you could create a drawing and just sketch in the different entities that you want in there. But here we have our drawing that contains the connecting rod. And if you want to start throwing views on here, well, the first view is the base view and I'll click it and can see a preview of where it would end up being located. Let me change the scale. Let's go to slightly smaller scale and left click in order to place it. And when you create the first view, it's automatically going to put you in the mode to create other additional views, just like other software like Onshape does this as well. I can't remember if SolidWorks does it. And you can see how the different views would end up coming in here. So let me just throw in one other different view and then click on the close button. So that's how you can start off a brand new drawing. Let's take a look at making changes to different objects. So for example, let me go back to my connecting rod. Let me change over to my part navigator so I can see my different features. Here I have the first original sketch. I'm going to right click on it and from the pop-up menu you can see that we have an edit command and if you choose edit this will put you back into the sketcher. I'll just click on finish in order to get out of that one. Let me select on a different feature. For example, here we have the hole. I'm going to right mouse click and hold. Here we have a show dimensions button and let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the dimensions for that particular feature. If you don't want to see the dimensions on the screen anymore, hey, just click on the F5 button and it'll update the graphics so that you don't see the different dimensions. So there you have it. That's how you can create some brand new objects and also make changes to your features in your part.